Right, hey everyone, welcome back to Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Himanshu, and we are continuing our journey of understanding Salesforce development, Apex Masterclass. Right? In the last video, we talked about how to insert a task record, how to find out its required fields, and also link it to a account by using the what ID field. Right? In this video, we'll talk a, talk about inserting a task record and linking it with the, with a contact. Okay. Now with task records, like I said in the previous video, you have what ID and who ID. Okay. Now before jumping into this implementation, let's just take two minutes to talk about what ID and who ID, and this will clarify all your concerns. Okay. So you are an employee who works for a organization. You are a living being. Your organization is a non-living being. Correct. All right. So if I were to ask you, who are you? I'm using the keyword who, right? And if I have to ask, where do you work? Right? I'll ask you, what is your company name? Make sense. So I'll say, who is your friend? Right? But I'll say, what is the company where he works in? You see, how am I using the who word and the what word? So what are you able to make out of it? The who word is used for living living things or actual people. All right. The what keyword is used for non-living things or entities that exist but are man-made. All right. So things like a contact. What is a contact? A contact is actually a customer or a person. Name, phone number, birth date, email address. That's a contact. Correct. What is a lead? What is a prospect? Even that's a potential customer who's a actual entity, actual living being, right? If we talk about, uh, let's say I did a campaign where I encouraged 25 people to post on, on their LinkedIn about my videos. Okay. Who are those 24, 25 people? They are, they are contacts. They are my friends. They are either my contacts, right? So out of those, out of those 25 people who posted about my tutorial through those, through those LinkedIn posts, right? 2500 people reached out to me who are they to me they are leads to me correct meaning they are interested in my channel these leads are actual people so they would be part of the who id right but my channel is a non-living thing so if i have to link my channel somewhere for a task it would be the what id you are an employee you would be a contact or a customer or a person. Your company is where you work in. Your company would be an account, an entity, an organization. Let's bring in the opportunity now. What is an opportunity? An opportunity is a chance where a lead can be converted. Basically, a lead converted is an opportunity, an opportunity to make money, an opportunity to generate revenue. So is opportunity a living thing or a non-living thing? Does opportunity actually exist? Can you shake hands with an opportunity? No, it's 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 a non-living thing, right? But you can shake hands with the person who's linked to the opportunity, meaning the contact, right? So opportunity would be a what ID. It will not be a who ID. So the primary difference between what ID and who ID is the what ID will always constitute of things which are man-made, non-living entities, but they exist in the system, like account, like opportunity, like any custom object any other custom object. However, if you are saying that you want to link with an actual person, you want to link your task with an actual person, let's say you are selling air conditioners, right? And this is my favorite uh, two examples. You sell air conditioners and you sell ice creams. Okay. So if you sell air conditioners, right? And let's say the air conditioner broke down after three years of usage, they will reach out to you, to the company, right? But who will you, and you will basically create a task for someone to go to their home and check it. So will you create a task for the company or for a particular sales or service representative? You will create a task for a service representative to take a look, correct? So you will say, create a task to visit the premises to check the air conditioner and you will link it to the who ID. The who ID will be the service agent name. Correct. Does that make sense? So what ID versus who ID? What ID will be account, opportunity and any other custom object and who ID will only be contact or a lead because they are actual entities based on Salesforce understanding. 
all right with that note with that note and that understanding do you now understand why is the what id linked to the account if i choose to link a contact here this will fail the contact if you want to link has to be linked to the who id and that is why if you take a look at the task field right if you take a look at let's say and you try to say let's try to say edit you will see that the related to field has all the custom objects along with opportunity and account whereas the name field meaning the who id is only contact and lead that's that's the reason why okay so now we'll try to create our task and this will be linked to a person so i'll say create task for a service rep okay and this time i'll i'll be accepting the service rep rep name that is basically the person's name so if i have the person's name can i query it let's try to query it i'll say list of contact con equals select id from contact where name equals service rep name similar to how we did last time and i only one only want one person because there could be multiple don't worry about the checks like you you might say uh, there might be two himan shoes in the system how are you checking that that's not the use case in my video right now that's not what i'm trying to solve i'm just trying to show you database operations okay so don't uh, put those things on your comments yeah that's not the use case for now those things can be handled and they can be handled in different use cases for now we are focusing on creating a task record linking with it with with either a what id or a who id and trying to insert update or delete records that is the complete agenda of these four five videos that we are doing okay great so i'll say if con but con is not a good name right so i'll say service rep list okay service rep list dot size equals one meaning i found the record okay but before this i have to instantiate my task task to create new task i'll say task to create dot subject visit premises task to create dot status it has not started yet someone has to start it and since the customer is complaining since the last 5 days i'll say the priority to fix this is high okay let's fix this o here and then task to create dot who id is where i want to link my service rep list of 0 dot id and when do i want to do it i only want to do it if i found a record or else don't link it but don't let my code throw any errors that's the primary agenda of writing successful code okay if all looks good i'll simply say database dot insert i'll use the database method for this time i'll say task to create and i don't need to pass any second parameter because it's only one record i'm working with right now so partial processing does not make sense it will either insert or not insert only one record save okay let's give it a try and before giving it a try let's take a look at one of the contacts let's try to link it okay i'll just go to one of the contacts so i'm on my classic view because i find this a bit fast so if you are at the lightning version you'll see similar things it's just that the ui will be a bit more fancy okay so let's take a look at maybe pat stimuler okay so i'll just take a look at pat and i'll just copy this name and here if you notice i have used the name field correct which is the entire name if i now try to query and show you select id comma name from contact what does it show it shows the entire name the first name and the last name okay so let's take pat stimuler from here and let's try to give this to the method i'll say create a task for pat stimuler because he has been working on this service things for a while now let's assign it to him let's give it a try execute runs fine let's take a look at the contact you see currently the open activities are empty let's refresh our list and we should see one task getting created and linked to this particular contact see the visit premises task has been created for pat stimuler it is a task 
it currently says it is not started the priority is high and now if you notice that the related to field has been populated with sorry the name field has been populated the related to field is empty meaning the who id has been populated the what id is empty exactly how we created it and if you notice there are two fields email and phone they are automatically populated from whom from pat stimulus contact record because this is his email address and this is his phone number in case it's needed it is stamped on the task all right so that's how we understood the difference between the what id and who id and we are also now able to create tasks by linking it to the right person or a business with you choosing the right fields okay what happens if i choose to do something like this let's say the what id is being linked to a contact record will it be allowed tell me what do you guys think the what id is to link accounts opportunities and custom objects correct but i am trying to link the what id with a contact record which is supposed to be the who id ideally but i am try I, i made a mistake so you see the compilation has not failed first of all but now if i try to execute it You see, you're getting a field integrity exception. It says the ID value that you have gotten, which is of a contact, it's incorrect. It cannot be linked to the what ID. You see this ID. How do you read it? You see this ID. First of all, take a look at that ID. I'll go here. I'll paste this ID. I'll see what is this ID. Zero zero three. Looks like a contact. Which contact? Ah, okay. This is Pat Stumuller. What am I trying to do here with Pat Stumuller? I am trying to get this contact. Okay. i got a contact and it is trying to associate it with the task record what id yeah looks fine but what is the mistake i made i linked it with the wrong field it should be the who id and that's what it says field integrity exception so that's how you get a field integrity exception when you are doing this database updates if you map a wrong relationship field with your field you'll get a integrity exception okay so it will not let you save what id with who id field values or who id with the what id field values that's why you have to ensure if you are linking account contact opportunity lead you have to choose the right field it cannot be any one of those two make sense and just understand that the field the name of the field is different but the api name is different you'll see that the field name is related to the api name is what id the field name is name the api name is who id okay fancy good good amount of learning yeah so just write in the comments what id and who id makes sense so i'll know that you you are good with this two concepts okay and for those of you who were confused uh, previously with this two concepts just just put that comment so i know now one last thing before we close this video i went ahead and took a service rep name and i queried the contact right you might ask himanshu what the field who id is compatible with two kinds of objects either leads or contacts right so can we put a lead record here yes you can put a lead record here but if you want to put a lead record here you will have to query the lead record right so that is based on use case to use case understanding here my understanding is i want to link it with the contact but let's say your business requirement says that you need to create a task for the lead in that case you'll be querying the lead not the contact or if the business use case says that it has to be associated to the actual contact in that case you query the contact and link it okay so it does not have to be a hard core contact query it can be either a lead query or a contact query and the result can be mapped to the who id field here same with the what id whichever object you are trying to link you will have to query that object and fetch it okay what are some better ways to do certain things that we did here just before wrapping it up yeah i put the static things here right so if you see not started is here not started is here could i have just created a static constant final variable here yes we could have done that so i'll say final string task not started equals i'll just define it on the top and i can use it public static final string why final because it is not going to change it will be instantiated only once once through the static keyword and i can get rid of the static mentions everywhere and use this particular value directly
okay same thing i can do with normal priority or high priority so what what does it do it keeps your code neat and clean and if you have to let's say modify something in the future right you can just modify it on one level you don't have to go to each method and modify it that's why this putting up this uh, constant on the top and using it everywhere just a good practice all right so you can do this for all the other fields also whatever you are using and are common and will not change perfect that was all from this video we have been able to insert account records task records link it with the right kind of accounts contacts what id who id we looked at certain integrity exceptions some dml exceptions required fields missing and with that knowledge we'll continue understanding some more use cases around database i'll see you in the next one bye